this was all gone. So it was just water coming straight in. On an average day, Lakeside Child Development cares for about 90 children. But after a severe storm ripped across the site in June, resources are cut almost in half. The insurance company opted to just take everything down to the studs to replace everything in case of mold or, or we don't want anybody to get sick. Instead, the daycare is using administrative buildings and operating out of pods set up outside. I really thought I lost my job. I didn't know where these kids were going to go. Uh, we thought was the first thing we could do is if we could be up and running in a week or not, but it ended up being 10 days. Staff tell me it's looked like this down to the studs for weeks. They're struggling to find resources to get things back to normal. The contractors are all pretty much focused on Sand Springs, the, the flooding victims, which is understandable. And the flood hit first, so we're just having to wait you know, wait in line until, until they can get to us. The director says it could be two months before they're back up to speed. In the meantime, the daycare is fundraising for a safe room, <laughs> taking no chances in case this happens again. It hit on a Sunday and not a Monday, so we didn't have a lot of traumatized children or, or injured children, and I'm just so grateful for that. That's, that's the most important thing. Everything else is just stuff. In Manford, <laughs> Megan Allison, two works for you.